Well, my girl Hillary Clinton has a new book out called What Happened, or as I like to refer to it as What Happened Was, in which she blames everybody on the planet except herself for losing the presidential election to Donald Trump. I confess I borrowed the book from someone and found it's hardcover to be as stiff as her personality and the book itself to be about as charismatic as she is. I mean, the pages were a little brittle. But the title of the book says, What Happened? And I want to find out what happened. What happened, for instance, to Ambassador Chris Stevens, Sean Smith, Glenn Darty, and Tyrone Woods in Benghazi. What happened to 30,000 emails? What happened to Seth Rich and Vince Foster and Sean Lucas and Victor Thorne and Joe Montana and John Ash and about 30 other folks that are now members of that most famous Clinton legislation called the Department of Every Clinton engagement except slaying equally, or decease for short. What happened for sarin gas to get in the hands of Syrians? What happened to John Podesta's pasta sauce? What happened on the tarmac with old Bill and Loretta? What happened to Comey whenever he declared Hillary innocent before he even investigated? What happened with Foggy Bottom? What happened with Anthony Weiner's what happened with Clinton Foundation money? What happened to the State Department documents she was supposed to turn over when she stopped being the Secretary of State? I didn't find out what happened at all. In fact, it was just a book full of denial and blame, which sort of sounds like half the country in the mainstream media right now. So in summary, I'll tell you what happened, Hillary. Old-fashioned America happened. The America that wants American jobs and factories and manufacturing running on American money and employing legal Americans, Americans that value human life, born and unborn, regardless of gender, color, or socioeconomic status. So go on and get you some of that. What happened, Hillary, is that America said no to you and your aspirations of sitting on the throne of America that you thought you so deserved. You didn't. And November 16th was a reminder to anybody that wants to think they do. We decided Donald Trump was better to serve our purposes, and it seems we were right in spite of all the parroting going on by your supporters. Black! Racist! Black! Fascist! Nazi! White supremacy! I'm sorry, folks. I'm in Texas. I can't hear you over all the... And when the time comes, America's going to do the same thing again. I love y'all. God bless. Facebook poke. And I guess we'll never know what happened.